Hey guys, before we hop into today's video, I wanted to let you know that you can get 30% off of Cheap Fuel right now with the code MOLT. I am drinking today snow cone flavor mixed with Bahama Mama. Y'all, I've been exhausted staying up at night with my son um, and all that kind of stuff. And seriously, G Fuel has been an absolute lifesaver for me. So if you guys are interested in G Fuel or restocking or whatever it may be, check out uh, that code MOLT. Just go to gfuel.com slash MOLT, type in that code MOLT, and you're good to go. Let's get into the video. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again. It's me, Molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys today. I hope that y'all are doing well. I hope that you are keeping yourself busy doing whatever it is that you're doing uh, during this quarantine and this crazy times. Hey, if y'all are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. It means the world to me that you would choose to watch my videos. Um, I really appreciate it. Obviously, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn notifications on. I don't want y'all to miss any of my videos. I saw the other day, only 7% of my views come from people with notifications on. So um, if you're watching this and you don't have notifications turned on, turn those on so that you can get notified whenever I do post a video. Um, also, Thank you so much for all the support. Seriously, you guys are unreal. You already know by now about the hashtag code Molt Crew. You got to check this every week because it goes blank, okay? Um, if you don't know what the Creator Boost is, Supercell is doing this amazing thing where they help you support us creators as we play their games. Um, instead of 100% of your gyms going to them, some of it comes to us, whether those are gyms that you've won or gotten from things, whatever it may be. If you have somebody's code in there and you spin gyms, it'll go, a portion of it will go to them to help support them and their families and their channels. Now, obviously, support whoever you want to. If you want to support me, that's awesome, but make sure that you are supporting somebody. Guys, what are we doing today? So check this out. Um, <clears throat> I was looking through some of my videos lately, and it seems like throughout the channel, throughout the life of my channel, cycle decks have been some of my most popular videos. Um, you guys love watching those. You love learning them. Cycle decks are my style. I love just playing and playing and playing. I don't like using the elixir pump. Um, I don't like that type of thing. It's just too slow for me. It's just too slow for me. That's why. I, that's one of the reasons I don't like playing golem uh, beatdown decks because it's too freaking slow. Um, even though it's so good, it's just not fun for me to play it. I love playing cycle decks. Um, why don't you guys comment down below if you like cycle or what's the opposite of cycle? Not cycle. <laughs> um, comment down below your favorite type of, of deck. I guess whether that's beatdown or cycle, whatever it may be. Um, but today, uh, I made a Ram Rider cycle deck with the heel spirit in it. It's kind of like the OG um, 2.6 hog. But I believe that this one might be, what, 2.8, something like that. I dropped that off. Look at this. Zap, zap, bip, bop, bip. This doesn't work. I dropped this off and it dies too soon. It didn't even look like the Valkyrie was going to hit it, but it did. Craziness. And we're handling business. We're already back to everything. We got our cannon in here if we need it. Um, this guy's got an RG, uh, which we've actually been able to take out pretty easily. And the cannon obviously helps distract with that as well. Um, the zap and the uh, heal spirit. I... I love the fact that the heal spirit does a little bit of damage. You know what I mean? Like, to me, that makes me happy. Oh, yeah. Also, check this out. Uh, I was beating him so bad that he quit. This cycle deck right here makes people quit. This guy was like, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not messing around with it. And it wasn't even like I had really direct counters to his deck because he's got an RG. And I feel like direct counters to that are uh, more like Inferno Dragons or Inferno Towers or... Things like that, and I don't even think that I had used the cannon up until this point to uh, counter his RG, so that was pretty funny. We get in here, we do work. Guys, how are y'all feeling about the heal spirit still? I think that it's super, super cool. I think it's really, really fun. Um, it is most definitely like better than I thought. When I first saw it, I was like, this is a new card. Come on. All you're doing is mixing together ice spirit with a heal and switching some things up. Um, but... I do appreciate it, and I think that it's something that's pretty cool uh, within the game. Also, here's another question for you guys as we continue to watch this. Um, the, the new cards that are going to be coming out from here on, do you think they should be support cards or win conditions? Because I desperately think that we need, like... I think the next three cards should be win conditions that aren't similar. Okay, so I'm not talking Goblin Giant type stuff, okay? Because that's pretty much a giant. You know, you play it... For the most part, the exact same way that you would play a giant deck. Like, that's why you see Goblin Giant Sparky and Giant Sparky. They're played fairly similarly. Like, I want to see the team come up with some win conditions that are just like... They will create new play styles. You know, like, when I came up with the Miner and that was implemented, that created a completely new play style in the game. Um, Ram Rider... I would say Ram Rider is definitely different than Hog Rider. 
Um, like, the comparison wouldn't be the same as Goblin Giant and Giant between Ram Rider and Hog Rider. Um, because it is a little bit different. Hog Rider obviously doesn't do any damage to other things. Ram Rider has the CC that you can use on defense. You can't do that with a Hog. So they were pretty different, even though they were both defense targeting Riders that go towards the tower. Um, <clears throat> I think that that was pretty cool. But I, I, I seriously, like... We desperately need some new win conditions that aren't just big tanks that you throw stuff behind. You know, like even with the Lava Hound, it's like, all right, I'm going to put this balloon behind it. I wouldn't mind another air win condition because the only air win condition that, well, I guess we have balloon as well. What would it be? Ram or uh, balloon and look at this freaking push that this dude's got. Um, what would it be? It would be balloon and Lava Hound are the only air. I guess skeleton barrel is a win condition as well. And it's actually a pretty fun one. You guys know how much I love the Skeleton Barrel. Um, but yeah, so, and, and here we go. Even if you guys have any ideas um, for new win conditions that you would like to see, definitely comment them down below. I think that I think that I would like to see another, like, I guess we just got a three elixir win condition with the elixir golem. Um, but even so, like, I, I feel like, I feel like whenever they come out with new support cards, they're pretty transferable. You know what I mean? Like, Musketeer and then Flying Machine. It was like, eh, they're, they kind of do the same thing. They both shoot out of a cannon and do relatively similar damage. Blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what the damage difference is. Obviously, Flying Machine dies to Fireball and Musketeer does not. Um, but this guy kind of scary right here, honestly, with all this stuff coming in here. Um, <clears throat> but all that to say, like, I think that the priority moving forward when it comes to cards being added to the game, um, they should not be support cards. I think we have enough support cards to kind of handle stuff and, you know, do things well. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have any ideas, comment those down below. I would love to hear them, love to see them. Let's go ahead and, and jump into some live matches here with uh, this thing. It's, always, it's good for me, y'all, to, to post some replays at the beginning of battles because... Like, <clears throat> when you have to, as the creator, when you have to perform nonstop throughout your video, like, you are the one playing, you are the one talking about what you are doing, it gets pretty difficult and draining sometimes, especially if, like, you're tired, like, I have a newborn son, and, like, I'm exhausted, and so coming in here and recording and trying to be, like, gung-ho, like, I'm gonna win, it can, it can get difficult sometimes, and so it gives me a little bit of a break and a little bit of a warm-up to be able to show something that I did when I was just kind of hanging out and not recording, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm grateful that you guys hang out and watch the replays and stuff because to me, like, oh, yo, he just spent a lot of elixir over there. What we got? What we got? What we got? I got that zap spell ready. No spells. Yes, we kept one of the bats alive. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go... Actually, Valkyrie will take it out, won't it? Yeah. We'll just go Valkyrie. Cannon. And that sucks. Oh my gosh, dude, it completely... No, get that Valkyrie out of here. Okay. That hog's gonna own us. Dude, I could have gone heal spirit on the right. Ah, uh, no. I was gonna say, I could have gone heal spirit on the right and it would have healed her up to half health and she would have crushed. Alright, so this guy's got what looks to be a, a fun little... Oh, please jump. Okay, I mean, it jumped, but like, why the freak did it jump like that? That was so weird. Please take it out. Thank you. I didn't even need to do this. Dude, she almost killed three of them. All right. <clears throat> so we've got the lead here. We're good to go. We're hanging in there. This guy's got an interesting little deck as well. I'll go ahead and go Musky, and then I'm going to have to go Valkyrie on this, and then uh, Cannon, because he's going to drop off the hog behind this. Oh, that sucks. Yay! What a weird deck. Jump off your hog rider. Oh, that sucks, dude. I really thought that it would jump over there. I'm actually, honestly, pretty surprised that it didn't. That sucks, dude. I hate that so much. That's a good heal. Oh, that's money. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, get another shot. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's what we needed. 
He's gonna go hog, so we're gonna go here and right here. No, I need I need you targeting the hog for me. Yeah! Oh, that's a bad rocket. That's a really bad rocket. Heal all of it up. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> let's go, dude. Come on. Uh-oh. I just did something really dumb. Maybe not. No, I did. Oh, wow. Rocketed, I dare you. <laughs> what, dude? I just got so aggro there. I just needed to defend. Holy cow. All right. Yo, let's keep it going. I didn't even look at the number of what this is. 2.8. Okay, 2.8 hog cycle. Ram rider cycle. Does anybody call it hog rider whenever you refer to it? Or do you just say hog? You know? I feel like... I feel like I just say hog. I don't say hog cycle. Okay, okay, what do we even, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I know that I need to get more um, battle healers. Close, battle, one more. Let's go. Guys, if y'all are still here, first of all, thank you for watching this long, I appreciate it. Um, a lot of people don't make it this far. If you are still here, that means you like watching my videos and you like hanging out with me. Um, go and check out my Spy Jinx videos on my channel, okay? Um, because I feel like you guys would really enjoy them. Um, I love playing the game, and I genuinely feel like you guys would as well. Come on, Valk. Did the Valkyrie just swing and not do damage to that hog? I think I just saw a Valkyrie swing and not do damage to a hog. I'm gonna do this real quick. Heal full. Ah. That was a dumb play. Of course he's gonna take that out. Alright, so I'm curious as to what kind of defense this dude has. Alright, so we're gonna go in with this. What do we think? Okay. Mini Pekka solid. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. That, the thing wore off. Nice! I need seven elixir. I need seven elixir. Dang it. I always try and get it to where the other Valkyrie will come back, but it's not. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> Finish it off. Don't give him any shots. Oh, man. This might be dumb. Oh no, dude, I'm about to stomp this side over here. I'm gonna have to do this right when he targets and try and make something happen. He's got zap, of course. He's definitely gonna zap these when I do this. So I just have to be ready. Wow, he didn't. There's that zap he just used. Which means I can also go here with this. Zap that real quick. Nice! Hit it again. Yes. Oh, this is good. Dude, it's so good in overtime. I have to do this. I really don't want to, but I have to. Please, Ram Rider, stop going so slow. That's good damage. Go, go, go. Zap on the wrong thing. Let's go, dude. They zap the wrong thing, baby. Yeet! Get there! Get there! Come on! Let's go! So that guy had a pretty interesting type of cycle. Instead of having a defense, uh, he had the... He had a wizard? <laughs> what the freak? Why did he have a wizard? Um, so the way that I took that was, instead of him having musketeer, he had ice wizard. 
Um, instead of him having a cannon, he had mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, but I had no idea that he had a full-blown wizard there. That's pretty ridiculous. Hey, that's going to be the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.